my name is Christy Talbert. I am an instructor here at the Waco Family YMCA. We're going to go through a little workout today that's very senior friendly. Um, I'm going to try to keep it to where we can use some things that you have around the house and use them in a way that maybe you never thought of. Uh, there'll be some other tools that I'll use, a little child's playground ball and a band with some handles. You can pick these up at any local, well not any local store, but a lot of local stores you can find these. Um, a lot of times in stores you'll see these balls are like the big cages I and mean, they don't cost very much, but they need to be a little bit squishy and no weight to them. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started with a little three minute warm up or so and then we'll work through some different cardio moves and some strength training moves and maybe give you some ideas of something that you can do at home. So I want you to go ahead. We're going to get our heart rates up just a little bit. Take them up from our baseline. Just march it out for me. I'm going to take it to a march right here. You can go ahead and pump those arms. Give me a nice little torso twist. We want to start moving those abs and the core and getting it ready to work. You can take those knees up a little bit higher. Very nice, maybe a little bit higher. Tell that body it's time to work. Just a few more. Here's four and three and two march it side to side, side and side, side and side. Good. Go ahead and reach those arms and pull them back. Now, if you want to make this a little bit bigger, you can step a little bit wider. Reach and pull those arms. Again, we're working that core. Just a few more. Very nice. Here's four and three and two, making an alternating knee lift. Let's alternate a knee, bring it up. Very important to know, if you've had a hip replacement, you never want the knee to cross the midline of the body. So if you've had that hip replacement, you keep this knee right aligned right here. If not, you can go ahead and take it across. Take alternate elbow to alternate knee. Right here, four and three and two. Now kick it forward, cross the arms. I want you to pull that chest open. Imagine you've already got that band in your hands and you're pulling four and three and two and one. March it out. Heart rate should be going up a little bit, breathing a little heavier than when you started. That's totally fine. Just four more counts, four and three and two and one. I want you to take your feet a little wider than hip width Keep your knees kind of bouncy, a little bit soft. Bring that right arm across. Let the shoulder come down, tilt the head over. We want to stretch out that upper body and get it ready to work. Take that palm out. You can drop it down, look back over the opposite shoulder. Very nice. Bring the other arm across. Shoulder comes down, tilt the head over. Good, take that palm out. Nice, and drop it down, look over the opposite shoulder. Good, go ahead and bring both arms up to what we call goal post. Once you're looking like a goal post here, give me a little twist, center, and twist, and center. Very important here that you're not twisting your whole body. Your belly button and your hip bones stay facing that front mirror. Four more, here's four, and three, and two, and one. Very nice, both arms overhead, deep breath in, and exhale, and one more time, deep breath in, and exhale, Great, now your heart rate should be up a little higher than when we started. We're gonna go ahead and go right into about a three minutes of cardio, showing you some very basic moves. It's not necessary, a lot of people, a lot of times when people hear cardio, they think they've gotta run and jump around and everything, and that's just not necessary to get your heart rate up. So we're gonna talk about some moves today that you can do that are very friendly to your body, but we'll get that heart rate up and make sure we heart, get your heart in tip top shape. So let's go back to our march, right here. Keep that tummy tight all the way through your workout. Take those knees up a little bit higher. 
Good. Still pumping those arms. I need eight more counts. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give me that little step touch, just like in our warm up. Reach and pull those arms. Now what I want you to do is I want you to take this a little bit lower. So you're gonna get down in more like into a squat position. Reach and pull those arms. Pull them right into the tummy. Another modification, you can get high and low. When you start hitting those levels, that's when the heart rate's gonna go up. Next modification, same thing, but the arms go overhead. You got this, you can do it. It's not supposed to be easy. Should be a little bit challenging for you. A few more, here's four and three and two. Back to our side tap right here. Nice, now some modifications here. You can take this to a little lunge behind. Again, if you need more, Take it a little lower. Now you can move as quickly or as slowly as you want to. It's not necessary that you move really quickly. The most important thing is hitting those levels, making those muscles work. So if this is your level for today, that's totally fine. One more modification. Arms come up. Arms come down. Give me four, three, two, and one. Heart rate should be up, should be breathing a little harder. Go ahead and pick up. You can use some heavy dumbbells. I have a couple of cans of soup here because you can use something that you have in your own pantry. It's not necessary to go out and buy a whole bunch of equipment. So have your little soup cans here. We're gonna use these for the upper body work. I want you to go ahead and take those arms back to your goal post. You're gonna bring them in, out, in, and out. Again, make sure those knees are not locked out. In and out, in and out. Give me four, three, two, and one. Bring them right back here. Little presses up. Little bitty. Now, you can obviously get heavier items. You can get bigger cans. You can actually pick up some dumbbells. It's up to you. You can increase the amount of reps that you do of any of these exercises if they're not enough for you the way we're doing them. Press, 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 and press. Give me four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to bring those cans or your dumbbells right down here. Again, you're gonna stay slightly bent on your knees Elbows are bent. I want you to bring those elbows up and down, up and down. Lift and lift. So just imagine that you have strings attached to your elbows and you're a little marionette puppet. Somebody is lifting your strings, lifting those elbows to the ceiling. Take it up and up. Very nice, lift and lift. Four more. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna add a little element of balance here. So you're doing a very similar lift with the upper body, but you're gonna place all your weight on one leg. You're gonna lift it up and back down. Lift it up and back down. Lift it up, back down. So no weight on that toe that's touching the floor and the leg that's lifting. Lift, give me two more good ones. Here's two and one. Nice, switch into the other side. You might find that you have a little more balance on one side than the other, and that's totally normal. Four more, three, good, two and one. One more exercise with these little cans that we've got here. I want you to bring your elbows in nice and tight. Lift them up to the shoulders and back down. Lift them up to the shoulders and back down. 
Regular bicep curl here. Easy breezy. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Very nice. Remember, you can increase the weight on these cans. You can actually pick up some dumbbells. It's really up to you. Place those in your chair. Remember to gra grab a drink anytime you feel thirsty, anytime during a workout. It's very important that you stay hydrated. So we're going to go right back into our little cardio moves here. Go ahead and march it out for me. March it out. I need you to give me another few minutes. Pump those elbows. Bring them to the back. Good. Give me eight more counts. Here's eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two. Let's make it a step with a heel curl. So you're right here, right here. Step and heel. Again, you're reaching and pulling those arms. You can take those arms a little bit higher. Get that heart rate up a little higher. Can you get that heel up a little higher in the back? If you can't, that's fine. Just make it the most challenging you can for your body. Four and three and two. We're gonna double these heel curls right here. Take it up for two and up for two. Good. You wanna make it a little more difficult? Drop that booty. Get a little bit lower. Make those legs work. Four more counts. And three, two, oh, now we're gonna go to four. Here's four, three, two, and one other side. Four, three, two, again with fours. Four, three, two, and one again. Four, three, two, single knee lifts right here. Let's alternate those knees, just like we did before. Good. You can go ahead and give me that little twist. Elbow to the knees, up, up, four more. Here's four, three, two, let's double these knees. Just like we did the heel curl. Double and double, two more. Give me fours. Four, three, two, and one. Other side, four, three, two. Let's do that two more times, four, three, two, and one again. Four, three, two, march it out right here. March, 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 good. Now we're gonna count it down. We're gonna march it a little forward and back. Four more, three, two, here we go. It's up, two, three, four, and back. Up, two, three, four, and back. One more time like this. Now we're gonna add a little knee lift. So it's up, two, three, knee, back, two, three, knee, up. Very nice, just a few more. We're almost there. Two more. Stay home with these knees and the arms overhead. I right, really wanna push here. Wanna make you work the hardest that you've worked so far. So you can add a little hop to that knee lift. If you're feeling extra energetic today, you can take a little bit higher. Most importantly, that you get that heart rate up and you feel like you're working. And if your phone rang right now, you wouldn't want to answer it because you're out of breath. Four more. Here's four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Again, feel free to grab a drink if you feel thirsty. We're going to go ahead and move on to our band. So I want you to take your band with your handles right here. Then we're gonna add a little cardio element to this as well. You're gonna take your band and loop it with your thumb, hold the handles with the other side. You're just gonna step off to the side and off to the side. Pull it open and pull it open. Give me four, three, two, and one. Very nice, now stay right here. Again, feet hip width apart. I want you to lead with your elbows. You pull that band apart and release, apart, release. Work in those back muscles. Here's four. Come on, pull them wide apart. Two more. Now take this overhead. Pull, release, 
pull, release. Pull and pull. You're doing great. Four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Go ahead and remove that. Take your band underneath your feet, underneath your foot. Now you have options here. We're gonna do a little bicep curl. Your first modification, the one with the least resistance, is gonna be one foot in the tube and one foot behind. Next level is gonna be both feet in the band. That's gonna be a little bit more difficult. The most difficult is when you put more distance between your feet. Regardless, I want your elbows nice and tight to your sides. There's no daylight here between your elbows and the sides of your body. We can start with alternating. It's a right bicep curl and a left, right and left, lift and lift. Let's do two more like that. Now both arms will go, but we'll slow it down. So it's up for two counts, down for two counts. Up for two counts, down. Lift, back down, lift, back down. Now let's change our tempo. I want you to come right here in the middle. You can loosen up those tight fingers, take it to a little press right here. Again, this should be getting difficult. It shouldn't be easy. Give me four, three, two. Now let's speed it up. You can do alternating or you can do quicker presses right here in the center. It's up to you. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now I want you to go super quick, running man arms. You're gonna have to grab a hold of that band and you get those arms up and you pump those arms. This should really get that heart rate going. Just a few more. Shouldn't be too bad. Four more counts. Three, two, and one. Release it for me. Step out of that tube. You can place your band back down. Now before we go to the ball, a couple other things I wanted to show you. You can take something as easy or, or as a, common as a dish towel, or maybe a not so clean towel and you wanna clean your floor. Anytime you add resistance to any exercise, it's gonna make it a little bit more difficult. So let's say you wanted to practice some back lunges. You can do this. You've added that resistance right under this foot. It's gonna make it more difficult. Be careful, anytime you do a lunge, you wanna make sure that that knee is aligned right over the ankle, so you don't wanna go back too far. Here's four, three, two, and one. You can also stay down into a little squat right here. Take this leg out to the side. Again, you keep that tummy pulled away from the floor. Make that core work all the, all the way through your exercise workout. So important, two more and one. Very nice. Now, you can go ahead and come to the other side of your chair and you can use a kitchen chair from your kitchen table. It just needs to be something that's very sturdy. We're gonna come right back over here. We're just gonna even it out. So you're gonna come right down into this inside leg, take it back and forward, back and forward. You can hold onto this chair for support if you need to. Again, tummy is pulled in. Just a couple more. Give me two more. Here's two and one. Now take it to the side, just like we did over to the other side. All the weight is in this leg. Here's four, three, two, and one. Very nice. That's it for the, for the little dishcloth. You can play with that as much as you want. Make sure if your heart rate is up, when you go down to pick up that dish rag, your head stays below, I mean, your head stays above your heart. So you wanna drop down and pick it up. You never wanna drop your head down. So drop that head down, pick it up, place it on your chair. Now we're gonna do a little work with this little playground ball. Easy breezy. I love this little exercise because it doesn't feel like you're doing too much when you're doing it, but you'll feel it the next day. So take your little ball, again, feet are hip width apart, knees are slightly bent. Take that ball overhead. You're just gonna dip it to the side and to the side. That's all you have to do. It's more important 
that you get a nice, full, slow rep in, then that you do these quickly. The slower and the larger the range of motion, the better. Your goal should be elbow to back pocket. So the closer you get to that, the better off you'll be. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Very good. One last little ab workout for you. Go ahead and remove your other equipment from your chair. So important when you sit down that you turn side and reach side to place your equipment or whatever you're working with on the floor. Again, we don't want the head to drop below the heart. I'll turn this a little bit so you can see me. We're gonna do a seated crunch. Since not many of us like to go to the floor to do these, this makes it a little bit more pleasant. You place the ball behind your back, seated in your chair, and I want you to picture the letter C from the side. I want you to make that shape with your body. So your shoulders are gonna come over toward your knees and your spine is pressing that ball into the back of the chair. Now you can totally cheat on these and you can just lean over and back, but this isn't feeling difficult where you're pushing that ball with all those core muscles then you may not have that six pack abs that you're looking for. So if your goal is six pack abs or just better overall core health, you wanna make sure and get these right. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, again, you're pushing that ball into the back of the chair. Give me just a few more. House two. And last one. Very nice. You can go ahead and take that ball out, place it over to the side, and we'll do a little cool down right here, a little cool down stretch. So I want you to go ahead and sit in your chair, lift up that right leg for me, give me a little ankle twirl here, and take it the other direction. Good job. Now I want you to take this ankle across the opposite knee. If that's difficult for you, you're welcome to cross at the ankle, that's totally fine. If you can cross at the knee, go ahead and get it up there. Press down on the knee for a little more stretching outside the leg. It's not necessary that you do that. You can lean forward, but no more than 45 degrees. Feel a deep stretch there. Go ahead and come up, drop that leg straight down and twist back into the right. And release that. Face the front, lift up the other leg, roll the ankle. And other direction. Very nice, cross that ankle over the opposite knee, or again, you can cross at the ankle, lean forward, press down that knee if you'd like a little deeper stretch. Go ahead and come up, slide that leg right down, and twist back into the left. and release that, grab the back of your chair, pull the elbows back, open up that chest, drop the chin. And release it, bring the arms out in front, separate those shoulder blades, stretch out those upper back muscles, place the hands in the lap, drop the ear over, take it down into the other side and take that chin to the chest. And sit up nice and tall for me, both arms overhead, deep breath in. And exhale, and you should feel like a million bucks. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please feel free to come back next time. Have a great day. Great job today. Are you interested in more free fitness videos? Head to your local park to try out the QR Fit Trail system. For more information and to find participating parks, go to livewellwaco.com slash play dash well.